we are at the Keys today. Our journey today will take us from Miami all the way down to the southernmost point of the United States, Key West. As we leave Miami, we'll make our way across the first of the iconic bridges that connects the islands of the Keys. With the crystal clear blue water surrounding us, we'll catch a glimpse of the boats and wildlife as we wind our way through the island's chain. We'll pass through the charming towns of Isla Morada and Marathon, where we can stop for a bite to eat and take in some local sights. We will stop at Betsy the giant lobster statue, we will visit the history diving museum and a turtle hospital. Our final destination is Key West where we will sleep for two nights. So sit back, relax and enjoy the beautiful scenery on this unforgettable road trip to the Florida Keys. And the first key that we are going to visit that we are in now is Key Largo. Currently we are in John Pennekamp State Park. We're going to do a little hike. The other hike is, uh, is closed this morning. We were left our house, our uh, Airbnb, very early and we sh normally should be here like one hour early, early of scheduling. But so many lights, I have never seen so many lights, red lights in my life before. That was crazy. It was like two hours and a half that we drove from Miami to Key Largo. That was... <sighs> So if you are planning something, leave Miami very early, otherwise you have problems. So this hike is just it's a small hike from like 500 meters. If you stop to read the signs, it's like a small 20 minutes and it's flat. So it's not, not, not difficult to do. And you see all kind of lizards. happy if she can walk in nature she's more happy than she can walk in a city me too i'm more of a nature person but hey if you are passing big cities and miami had a good vibe we have to say that we found another small hike here it's called was it mangrove grove no not mangrove grove trail so it's a small it's not a loop it's just forth and back did you see the big spiders? Yes. You don't like spiders? No. Why? Because they are scary. Scary? They are gonna eat me up. Eat, eat you up? Yes. <laughs> you always say, it's only a small one. Yeah, it can become like that. Watch this. Yes, the small ones can come bigger. Yeah, yeah. But they are like tarantulas here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so big. Whoa. So... <laughs>
So this is Betsy and Betsy is the world's largest biologically correct lobster. This is in front of Rain Barrel. There you can see Rain Barrel Village. It's like in the Bahamas and there are shops, there are restaurants, there's uh, something to drink. It's really a nice place to stop. It's on the island of Isla Morada. But first we're going to drink something because it's hot and we are thirsty. A drink, can you squeeze a little bit further so I can sit in the shadow? Thank you, my best son. Best. Best son. Best. Son. Best. Son. Best. My best son. My best. The very best son. This is really cool here. So there you have glass and there you have some uh, jewelry that they are making, but you cannot film inside to protect their artistic way of making things. So we respect that, but no. it's really cool here. A little bit further of uh, Betsy the Lobster, we have History of Diving Museum. And that's what we're going to see next. Water is through here. No, this is all air.
Vicky? Is it close? Claustrophobic? Uh, no, maybe underwater. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> Are you breathing through your nose or your ears? <laughs> Three, two, one. Come here, After visiting this diving museum, a little bit back, you see Wahoo Bar and Grill. It's uh, the second on TripAdvisor in the area here. We have all kinds of fish. We want to eat something because we are very hungry. Now we are going to the Turtle Hospital. It's a little bit of driving. We booked tickets for four o'clock, but we have to be there a little bit earlier. I have no idea what we're going to see, but I found that on the internet and I wanted to see that what they are doing to help the turtles. I think it's wounded or, uh, and then they release them in, in the, the ocean. I think, I hope. Turtle Hospital was founded in 1986 and has since then treated and released over 2,000 sea turtles. Now this behind them, the video that's going on there, gotta move in a little bit so the rest of the people can come in. She's gonna get a hook. Uh, first time I, I was just stunned the first time I saw this. The hospital's mission is to rehabilitate injured sea turtles and educate the people about sea turtle conservation. All turtles believe that if they can't see you, that you can't see them. So in nature, they'll put their head in a crevice or under a rock. Here we give them the pipe, they can stick their head in there and pretend they're invisible, that's fine. These things right here, he likes to push them around. Um, you'll never know from time to time you come in here where it's going to be because as soon as he thinks we're gone, he'll go start moving. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody say hi to Mo! Hi, hi Mo! Well, I thought we just let Mo go. We did not let Mo go. You might get splashed. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Woo! Did you guys see that shot? That was... Mo! 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 <laughs> 
Here at the Turtle Hospital you can witness firsthand the tireless efforts of these dedicated staff and volunteers as they nurse their gentle creatures back to health. The turtles are given these toys to keep them busy and gain strength. We see turtles that are struck by boats, um, that have ingested trash or plastic, mostly human impact. Like to interact with people, and they come up to see what's going on. Now they can't see as well outside of the water as they can under the water. It's sort of similar to you. I mean, underwater you can't see as well, and uh, it, it's just the same kind of thing on the reverse. They think that they're invisible and their whole big turtle body is sticking out and uh, their heads in their hole. This guy right here, his name is April. April is blind, so she relies on smell and um, sound to find her food. There's a horrific disease called fibropapilloma virus and it causes these external tumors on the turtles. It affects over 50% of the green sea turtle population. It's not only growing in numbers, but it's also in the severity of the disease. These tumors now overtake the eyes, so most of the turtles that come in with it have both their eyes covered over with these horrible tumors. So this is really amazing visit, Turtle Hospital Marathon, so this is really cool. So everybody that finds a turtle uh, who is injured, they call Turtle Hospital and they uh, restore them. So some of them have some tumors uh, or they ate plastic or they are strapped in plastic or they are hit with the propeller of the boat. Uh, so many things can go wrong to prevent that they are dying. So they take them in, they make them better, and then they release them in the sea. They make it public that they will release some turtles in the sea, and there's a big event. This is an old motel. This is an old motel and the rescue team, all the members of the rescue team can live here for free as, as, as a gratitude for their work. So this is a really cool place. This is definitely a big tip uh, if you come to the Keys. Along the road to the Turtle Hospital and at the Turtle Hospital itself, we saw some huge lizards. They are originally from Central South America and the Caribbean. Imported by petting, the iguana is a large species of lizard, large in size. Male usually reach up to 5 feet or 1 meter and a half in length. But the Floridians are not so happy with these creatures. They are an invasive species that can cause erosion and property damage by digging. But we were very happy to see them. Sorry. So that was the last stop. How do you like the turtle? Yeah? Super cool. Yeah? Yes. Super cool. So this is the last stop on the keys now we're driving to key west and we're going over the seven miles bridge
before we go to our yeah, new sleeping place accommodation before we're going to do a room tour we're going to Win Dixie Win Dixie supermarket to get something to eat this small thing this evening and breakfast for tomorrow Our view amazing view and then we have our small apartment so with the kitchen kitchen and then here we have the bathroom and then we have one bedroom for the kids to sleep in and this is the closet okay it's looking good look Really cool.